Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So I hope you well Aries. Let's pull your first overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. 22nd to the 28th of February 2021, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the cards are out. So we have, oh, wow. <laughs> Aries. Wow. The emperor, which is you and the nine of pentacles. That is pretty nice energy. Okay. Let's crack on. Message for Aries, please. Angel spirits guides. Message for Aries. <coughs> What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. So I have memories. Looking back. Yeah. Interesting that that card came out, Aries. Let's see what else we have. And Angels, what is the message for our lovely Aries for the week, please? What does Aries need to hear the most? Thank you. What does Aries need to hear the most? Thank you. Too many. What does Aries need to hear the most? Thank you, please. Angels. Okay, the situation will improve. I like this card because you can see this person or this angel is going in an upward direction. Things are looking up, you know, things are moving in the right direction. They're heading towards the light. You know, it feels very beautiful. And it's interesting that I'm getting that with a memories card right next to the memories card. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, as you know by now, Aries. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. The third card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, first card is out. So we have the Nine of Cups in your challenge position. Six of Pentacles, Aries, is advice from Spirit. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aries? Thank you. And it will be 22nd to the 28th of February, 2021. Okay, what do we have? Message for Aries. Thank you. Card is out. We have the Magician. Oh my goodness, the Ten of Cups with the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups with the King of Swords. And we have the Page of Pentacles here, Aries. So the King of Swords generally is Aquarius, Queen of Cups is generally Cancer for me as a reader. That might be part of your sign, it might be part of somebody else's. Um, can just be the energy of, you know, what this is all about. So. Aries, this, I mean, this feels really beautiful in a way. If you have experienced challenges in terms of money, career, finances, there's definitely an energy of getting stability back and you making it happen um, and feeling very empowered and pretty good about it because that is the nine of coins. It's a card of abundance. It's a card of hard work, getting the results of hard work in terms of material success, success in terms of money, career, opportunity, call it what you will. Somebody who stands in their own success, their own abundance by the effort that they've been putting into something. So it's a lovely energy, the nine of coins for that reason. I mean, you know, this this is you in your element. I mean, this is you in your element. The, the, the emperor is 
recognize your own worth. You know, this is a card of worth. This is the card of self-worth, self-knowledge. Understand your own practical abilities to deliver real success. I mean, the emperor is, for me as a reader, I always say it, the empire builder, somebody who takes control, somebody who is the great initiator, somebody who understands how to, by their own, conducting their own power, recognizing their own power, they understand how to shape their world and their reality. They make it happen. And this is your reality, the nine of pentacles. You can make this happen by taking control, taking command of the situation, by being you. So it feels very beautiful, Aries. You know, this is an energy of the situation has the ability to improve where you come back, but you need to recognize who you are, what you're capable of. You have the power to deliver this. And, you know, for some of you, it's this week. You know, the nine of pentacles is real material success, abundance, financial security, stability. Yeah, very, very beautiful energy. There's something that you need to take control of here or something that you need to take the initiative on because there's definitely the energy of the situation will improve. This is the upward trajectory that you are on, you know? Uh, it feels like you have the ability to be that trailblazing energy one more, once more, you know, it definitely feels that kind of energy. Um, something to do with memories here, Aries. Something to do with memories. And this is, what I'm getting is, if your self-worth or self-esteem, questioning your own practical capabilities, if they have been questioned by other people, could be in terms of money, career, um, if they have been questioned or made you doubt yourself, there's definitely this energy of this does not define you anymore. You know, you define you. The emperor defines who he is. The emperor defines his life. He shapes his world. The world doesn't shape him. The external forces don't have the impact on the emperor. The emperor acts on the world, you know, and it's that kind of energy. So for some of you, there is a big energy of you have the ability to take command of a situation, really take command. Um, the Nine of Cups with the Magician. So there is definitely an energy of your hope, dream and wishes are available to you. And in the challenge position, it's interesting because there can be a material aspect to this. Uh, the Nine of, of Cups. There can be some kind of material aspect to it, material ambition or striving for some kind of success, material success, abundance, um, something that's very close to your heart. You know, remember the Nine of Cups is somebody who aligns, who takes action, who applies their mental acuity to look forward at what they want to achieve, and then they put their heart and soul into making it happen. They make it happen they make their hope, dream and wish happen. So it's a great energy of you have the ability to, to achieve a hope, dream and wish here, but there is something that you're not tapping into. And again, I'm getting this energy of something in the past, for some of you, has knocked you. Maybe has made you doubt yourself, question your self-worth. Uh, your practical capability, what you're really capable of. And Spirit this week is reminding you of who you are. Uh, this is definitely an energy of you're not tapping into the magic of who you are. And you have everything that you need to achieve a goal, to, a to achieve a hope, dream and wish. Um, so there's definitely an energy here, Aries, of put your energy in the right direction. You know, know your practical capabilities. And if you pull your energy in the right direction, spirit re rewards you in kind. I mean, that is the beautiful energy of the six of pentacles. It is, it's your time to receive. But there is something about you have to have that positive approach. You have to put your energy in the right direction. Um, it's a reciprocal energy. And it's very much connected to the law of attraction for me as a reader. It can also be where you have maybe struggled, not had enough in terms of money, you know, money, financial finances, finances, maybe in terms of struggling 
not just for you, but your relationship, your home, your family. There could have been some kind of hit. Yeah, that you've had in terms of money and you're feeling that you don't have enough. But again, this Ten of Cups is saying, you know, this is the rainbow of blessings. Something has disrupted the bliss. Something has disrupted the harmony here. But it definitely feels that by your efforts, by your practical efforts, your capability, tapping into your magic, you have the ability to turn that around. Yeah. Queen of Cups. King of Swords. So... Yeah, I mean, these can always be people in your life, you know, Queen of Cups can be somebody compassionate, could be a partner, could be a parent, you know, or somebody who cares about you deeply, somebody who you have a bond with, somebody who may well be giving you some sound advice here. Um, and the message is listen to the advice that these people give you because it's wise advice, you know, it's putting you on the right direction, it's helping you align to your flow, you know, certainly, and the Queen, King of Swords, I mean, for some of you, this is about, this advice might give you the clarity that you need on how you need to take action towards putting some plan into action, um, the vision that you need to get clarity on and the strategy and how you achieve that vision. So it might well be for some of you, there is some sound advice from somebody who cares about you. You know, it, it feels in this energy. There could also be, for some of you Aries, some professional consultant giving you advice, some intermediary. I mean, it could be in terms of recruitment agents here, um, business consultant, you know, that kind of energy as well. Somebody who is giving you some sound advice this week in terms of putting, put, allowing you to get perspective in how you need to take action. These can also be people in business, you know, sometimes the Queen of Cups can sometimes be HR for me. This can be somebody in authority as well, a visionary, somebody who is very, very successful at what they do by planning, by strategizing, by understanding the visions, the trends, where they need to be in terms of business, you know, so they're very good in terms of somebody who is a real visionary, somebody who understands how to develop strategies for success. So, I mean, these are either your energies, listening to your intuition, getting perspective here, seeing truths of the situation, being empowered in terms of getting clarity on where you need to go now, but it can also be people in business here for some of you as well that are supporting you and helping you achieve an end goal. And the end goal here is, you know, the pages are messages. So the page of pentacles is a message and it can be to do with a financial career opportunity. Now, if that's not the case, again, this could be some advice in terms of learning a new career skill, a new business skill, um, sometimes getting more qualifications here to be more attractive in job markets. So some of you might be looking to do that as well, Aries. Um, so that can be this energy as well. It can also be manifesting seed. This is kind of an energy of sowing seeds for success. So some kind of advice or vision that you're getting in terms of maybe starting your own business or a business partnership or, you know, this kind of energy. That can be the energy as well. It is essentially sowing the seeds of future growth. So it can be career, financial opportunities, doing some kind of skills development or maybe learning a new skill. But ultimately what it's telling you is what this is, this page of pentacles, it is leading to this, putting you back in your power, putting you back on top in terms of success, material success. Um, very, very beautiful energy. This is a card of abundance. This is a card of empowerment, the nine of coins, because they understand their own worth. They have tapped into their own magic. They understand their own practical capabilities to really deliver success. So you're being told to empire build this week, tap into your own magic. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's how the situation will improve. So I'm going to pull a final card, Aries. Spirit is saying, if somebody has made you feel lack of self-worth, knocked you, you know, 
it's not for you to focus on that anymore because it's not who you are. You know, we have wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with the challenge. Yeah, the answers are within with that card. So again, reconnecting to who you are from within and understanding that you have the practical ability, knowledge, experience, or maybe putting something into action that will ultimately deliver this success. But I definitely feel for some of you, this can be messages to do with an opportunity financial career this week and the message that the situation will improve. Yeah, very, very beautiful energy, Aries. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.